Because I was reading about you this morning, Joy, saying that you that you were that you'd wear mascara. Not, what did you say you'd wear going into a match? Mascara. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd bring this up when I heard you say it in the show earlier. Well, I suppose I only brought it up because I was I was intrigued that you. Yeah. Well, I suppose you know, with women's rugby, you have this perception that you are big and strong as your as you hope your opposition will see you as. But you know, like you like to be seen as a lady as well, and. Um, uh, as it is a sport, you still, yeah. you know, we, we still are very much feminine, and um, my, my traditions would be my nails and uh, yeah. my feet. So you're not, you're, not, you're not in a scrum kind of. I'm done, not the nails. <laughs> <laughs> but but what about the the, 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 the section of, of society? I don't know if it's big or small at all. Who say that they prefer if women didn't play rugby? Do people like that still exist anymore? Or is I there... think it's fading out. Like it must um, be. yeah, no, it is. We've had such positive it's reception. Corn. This season, like it's absolutely been brilliant. Um, I don't see why sport has to be gender specific. We should be delighted that people are out being fit, healthy, yeah. and enjoying something that they do and trying to achieve that the best they can. Yeah. So, yeah, it shouldn't be gender specific. When you think of the last time I spoke to a gold medalist on this program was a woman called Katie Taylor, and here we are now with the Irish women's rugby team winning the Grand Slam. So, you're clearly doing something right yeah. <laughs> along the way. Were you going to say something? I, just, I don't think people realise um, the massive um, joy that gives pe people um, in playing rugby and, and the social aspect and camaraderie that you have. And, sure. I mean, my, myself and Fiona have been around for the last 10 years. and are not that old. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fiona is. Um, <laughs> but in saying that, like, you have friends for life from this, this experience and you have your lows and we've had our lows for many a year and, and now this massive high and high maybe something is. we'll never forget. What's next for the squad then? What can we expect? Um, I suppose um, the RFU and the Irish Sports Council have just announced about the Sevens funding so some of our girls are away playing Sevens at the moment right. over in It's Huntington. very encouraging to see that coming Yeah, too. going towards the Olympics in Rio yeah. 2016 and then we'll have a couple of weeks off and we'll get back together pre-season going towards next year's Six Nations to hopefully bring to, that to, back to home again. To retain the cup.